Good morning guys. Today we're going to be going through a full day of eating and exercise because I find these videos really interesting. I like to see what people do but also have meal ideas, see people training in the gym. So that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be kind of like a vlog style and a few updates from me. I and me and Chase actually started eating meat about two weeks ago now just introducing white meat after seven years. So my meals are going to be a little bit different which is really exciting. I feel like a lot of my meals that I've been posting and talking about have been the same or there hasn't been much variety, I guess, in the past, we'll say, year. <laughs> but you know, I always have my cinnamon toast crunch protein espresso. That does not change. It has not changed in three years. It probably, I don't see it ever changing because it is my favorite thing <laughs> in the world. So of course I had to run that up this morning and make that. Of course with oat milk, that's just like a preferred way to drink this. Yes, you can absolutely use skim milk or 1% or soy milk because then you can get more protein, but it just depends on what your preferences. I think it is really good with soy milk as well. I'm trying to step a little bit away from so much dairy or at least so much dairy that isn't necessarily lactose free just for like digestion and figure out what works best for us. This morning I didn't film because we pretty much got out of bed, got dressed and went for a run. We've been really dabbling in going for runs here and there. I can count on my fingers how many times I have run in my life. My sister started getting into it we'll say three months ago now. She said I should try it and honestly it sounded horrific. You could not pay me to go for a run, especially after having COVID. I feel like that really made my cardiovascular health worse. But from a standpoint of wanting to focus more on improving outside of just through strength training, lifting weights, building muscle, that kind of thing, I think that training in some kind of way for cardio is something that I've neglected for years and it's something I'm really excited to actually start working on. So I don't wanna like chat your ear off about that. If Theo comes with us, he absolutely loves running. Sure. Hi, man. About 4K this morning in just over 20 minutes, which was really good. We averaged just under seven minutes a kilometer, which considering we're just getting into running, I feel like it's really good. Today was definitely the easiest run that I've had so far in terms of the amount of times I just like had to stop or slow down a little bit and it felt really good. And it was an easy way to get you know, 5,000 steps this morning. I'm not really honestly that hyper-focused on my steps. 90% of the time I don't even wear my Apple Watch, but I like to wear it when I am going for a like, run or playing squash, just to lay like, attention to my heart rate and what zone I'm in when running. And then my pre-workout meal this morning was the quickest bowl of mini cocoa puffs. I pretty much just had half a serving or one serving, half of what I normally had because I just don't need that much just to get up and go for a run. And just a little bit of carbs to help me fuel the short little run that we had. I could have pre-planned and had some extra carbs last night when we got home from baseball or something like that, like slow digesting. So I had more energy this morning, but I just didn't. So pretty much everything else we're doing today is leg day and I am going to be running up my new camera, which I'm really excited. So I'm gonna bring you guys to the gym with me to train and I'm picking up the new Buff Bunny drop that comes out, I think on Friday. So we can do like a little unboxing maybe or We'll do that in another video, but I'm really excited. We're finally getting some seven inch shorts in the butter fabric and they have like hidden scrunch. Oh my God, they're gonna be so good. So there's a lot of really cute things dropping for their summer sale and put Danielle stacks to give you an extra 10% off of their up to 80% off. So it's gonna be a really good sale if you've been like, looking into getting some new like, quality inclusive activewear. But yeah, pretty much right now I'm just having my Iced coffee, I'm going to be whipping up some breakfast very, very shortly here. Probably eggs and turkey bacon, and then I will be headed to the gym. So my meal before the gym is super easy, delicious, and I'm eating it probably over an hour before I'm actually going to be at the gym. It is going to be a little bit higher protein, and I still have some carbs in there too, but I'm going to be doing a turkey, bacon, egg white, and egg 
omelet basically on toast, but I'm just not gonna have any cheese in there because again, the dairy just kind of step away from it just a little bit, especially if I wanna have a little bit more later in the day. I like to pre-cut it before I cook it. I find it just is so much easier than trying to cut it after. So it's just an easy way to just like cut out some calories is just like taking out the cheese from an omelet because it's still delicious, especially with the turkey bacon in there. Um, I find that I actually really enjoy turkey bacon and having it in something like an omelet is really, really easy where I'm not like stressed out about just like eating it. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but you know, reintroducing meat can be a little weird. So I actually really enjoy this turkey bacon and it has good macros too. Whenever I want to weigh something out, like egg whites, for example, I will just put the container on there zero it out, you know, take it, pour out however much I want and then put it back there and it'll say like negative 150. And then that's how I know how much I ate. It's very easy. Easy peasy. So here's breakfast. It's nothing special, but it's really good. And it was really easy. I just do dry toast because I, I, I personally don't need butter on my toast. Mm. I used to love ham and cheese and just like egg omelets when I was younger. So this is really nostalgic for me. <laughs> this is so, so good. And one, like literally you can reduce your calories so easily by swapping out regular bacon for like turkey bacon and swapping out just using like full eggs for a few full eggs, you can still use that, you know, healthy fats, but egg whites are so protein dense and low calorie, such a good way to like increase the volume of the food that you're eating. So like you're obviously eating way more for way less calories. It's a, that's like the hack of all hacks is to find ways to increase volume and decrease calories in your set. If you don't know, now you know, this is my pre-workout stack as of late. So since I did have my coffee already, I am not doing two scoops of pre-workout stim because I do not need that much caffeine. So I'm just doing one scoop blueberry lemonade stim, so freaking good. And then doing one scoop non-stim green apple. I just want to do the aesthetic stir and pour for you guys, but I do take this in my hydro jug traveler. Then when I'm done, I can just fill this up with water at the gym. So it takes me about half an hour to get to the gym. I gotta pick up a package. So I'll start sipping on this like halfway there. And I don't need to get dressed because the items I'm picking up, I am wearing today. I don't care if y'all think that's weird. It's what's happening. I'm too excited. New gym clothes. Okay, let's go.
I just got home from the gym. I was planning on making these like, flatbreads for lunch, but I cannot stop thinking about my smoothie bowl. Y'all know how much I love it. And it's just, it's phenomenal. I just want it. But it's a good way to get in some fruit too. So I just, all I want right now. It is so delicious. 0% fat lactose free Greek yogurt. A little bit of cocoa cereal protein. And then the rest is just water. To about there and then we blend. First we do a little bit of crunchy peanut butter and semi-sweet chocolate chips and microwave that. This truly doesn't do it justice. This is one of my favorite things in the world. Guys, it's 7 p.m. which means I officially have my makeup off and I'm back to looking like a gremlin. So, hello, I'd like to make an appearance. Of course. So we are making a uh, chicken fettuccine alfredo for supper. Super simple. Are you shy? Sweetest boy in the world. Chase is golfing right now with some work friends. So I'm just making a serving for myself. So I picked up a jar of sauce at the store. So I got the Classico four cheese alfredo. I didn't get the light one because it didn't have that many less calories and I just end up adding more Parmesan on top anyways. So I picked this up and we'll add this to some fettuccine noodles and I have some cooked chicken in the fridge that I air fried two days ago that I'll just dice up and add on top. So this is a really fast 15 minute meal. And honestly, since incorporating chicken again, it has just been so, so easy to, at the beginning of the week or on Saturday or whatever, just go in and marinate some chicken. And then I just actually cook it in our air fryer and it doesn't take very long because I cut, I cut it up pretty good into more so strips. And then we have our little digital thermometer that my parents got Chase for his birthday the other day <laughs> because we're eating meat now. So having meat just like wrapped and cooked in the fridge and when you actually marinate it and cook it to a 165, it's very good even a few days later and it makes meals so fast. But realistically, we even could marinate chicken the night before and then throw it in the air fryer. It's really easy and it's really fast and it just adds in a little bit of extra protein and extra nutrients. And I, I'll talk about this in another video if you guys want, just let me know in the comments, but I feel like really, really good since adding it back in, so. I'm not bougie or anything like that. I just bought this from Safeway. And the way you want to measure your pasta based on if you are tracking macros is on the box. I always get this question. So we'll just look at it together. Camera focus, hello. Here we go. So like, here we go, for example, it says that 85 grams is, it's about 300 calories, right? Can I assist you with something, little dog? But what you may not know is after you cook your pasta, if you were to weigh this out, it's going to be double the weight. So what I do is if I'm gonna make two servings, I'll just write down how much I'm weighing and then divide it. So for example, this is about probably 85 grams right here, 81, 85 grams. So this is approximately 300 calories, right? But if you were to take this and cook it, when you weighed it at the end, it would probably be like 150 grams. And if you went and logged that you ate 150 grams of pasta, that would have been like, what? 600 calories when you're really only eating 300. So it is just important to note that if you are going to be tracking your macros, the label is usually for the dry uncooked food. So if you're gonna be making like a recipe with a ton of pasta in it, you can just go ahead and actually make a recipe in the tracking app that you have and say that you are using this much dry pasta, but at the end you weigh the entire recipe out. So you'd like zero out a bowl on your food scale put the entire recipe into it and it would tell you how many grams it is. And I can actually link a TikTok video in the description box that's super helpful on how to track a recipe. But it's just something that can really, really throw you off if you're actually eating only 85 grams of dry pasta and tracking 150 grams of dry pasta, but it's after it's cooked, you know what I mean? So there's a lot 
to learn, but I digress. I'm gonna cut up some chicken and I'm going to throw that in a pan with my noodles and my Alfredo sauce. Now it is dessert time, ninja creamy time. People are so surprised when I talk about the fact that I eat a pint of ice cream every day at like 8, 9 p.m. Oh my God. This has 35 grams of protein, something like that, around 300 calories, depending on how, what the mix-ins you do are. I've been doing Ben and Jerry's type of vibe with, they have like snackable cookie dough and they also have another one that has brownie bits in it. So you're literally having like a pint of Ben and Jerry's. Some people's recipes for their Ninja Cream meat, maybe they suck and that's why they don't eat it as much, but oh my God, I've gotten so many compliments <laughs> on my recipe because it is just, it's elite. It is the best ice cream and it literally tastes like you're having a Dairy Queen Blizzard. It tastes like you're having a pint of Ben and Jerry's, but instead of 1200 calories, it's 300 calories <laughs> and a ton of protein. So we're gonna whip it up. We're gonna whip it up. Let me know in the comments if you guys want a video on our Ninja Creamies. Shit, one one's mine. I think this one's mine. Chase has mint in his. Shit. Oh my God, I can't tell. Well, we're doing this. Oh my God, it's unreal. So I've noticed that you don't need to buy like this specifically, but I love the one with the brownies in it. But you can easily make brownies, get some cookie dough and just freeze them together. Cause this is definitely a little overpriced. Mm. And then I just mix it. I do not mess around. When I say this is the most absolutely delicious thing you will ever have. This recipe with Kit Kats as a mix-in or Oreos as a mix-in, or you can get mint Oreos. You can put mint extract in here and make this like a mint chocolate chip cookie cake. Oh my God. It is the only base recipe that we have used for like the past eight months. We play around with different recipes here and there. Dairy Queen quality, taste, texture, but the calories are so low and it's so incredibly filling. This is like the cheat code to fat loss in my opinion, or hitting your macros. So I'm going to enjoy this and watch some Fortnite. 